Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the EPA, which is short for Enhanced Prototrack Assistance. I've done a video just like this for the RLX, but this is for the mill, and you'll notice over on the left side of the screen, underneath the information panel, third button down says EPA. And what it basically is, is all the knowledge that you need from uh, not only the creators of the product, but for machinists in general to show you how to do certain things. Okay, and so you'll notice that it's also specific as to where you are and what you want to learn. So in this case, I'm at the main screen. If I touch the EPA button right now, it's going to just show me some of the basics that have to do with setting up the machine in the very beginning. Now, if I close it and I go to someplace specific like the digital readout, now when I push EPA, you're going to see that it has information to help you learn how to do some of the things that are in the manual functions of the DRO. Now, if I close that again and I change from the DRO to the program button, when I select EPA, now you're going to see that it has things to do with programming your events and how to do that and such. As always, inside of each part, you have different subjects. And when I select a certain subject, you'll see that it'll start out with either videos or pictorial uh, information. And as I walk through from page to page, it'll show me the different types of information that I'm trying to learn. Okay, now if I close this once again and I'm inside the program mode, I'm going to swipe forward and go to pocket. When I'm in a pocket and I select EPA, now it's going to narrow down to the different types of pockets that you can make and teach you what you may or may not know about the pockets. So for each individual place that I'm in the control, the EPA will direct me to the information that will help me uh, learn what it is that I don't know. There is also the feature in here where there's a little box here next to all topics. And if I push that, no matter what mode I'm in, I can scroll through all the different subjects and select the one that I need. There's also the ability to touch up here where it says search and use the keyboard and type, type in just anything that I'm looking for and it'll automatically direct me to that that way. But in most cases, because of the fact that it knows where you came from, the fastest way is just go to where you have the question, hit the EPA, it'll take you right to it and get you answered. Okay, so you're going to find it's going to be almost to a point where you can teach yourself to run the Prototrack because there's so much great information in it now. That along with the Watch Me videos, you should really be up and running in no time. As always, we're still going to give you the training you need to get you to be really good at what you're doing. If you haven't seen a video yet on how the whole control works, please look at some of the other videos we've done. And of course, if you're really serious, then talk to your own salesman and he'll come out and give you a one-on-one -on -one demonstration, show you how to make your own parts. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. As always, keep on tracking.